Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Heike Zellerhoff and I'm Key Account Manager at Shopware. In the upcoming videos, I would like to introduce you to the out-of-the-box feature set of Shopware 6. And we will also look at some of the features from our professional edition as well as our enterprise edition. But first things first, let's have a look now in how the shop can look like out of the box in terms of the storefront and of course how the shop S6 administration looks and fits like. So let's have a look. As you can see here, I have installed a, a Shopware shop, a Shopware 6 Shopware shop in its version 6.1.5. So this is how one example of a storefront could look like with the out of the box template we already deliver. So you see in this case, we have the logo up front, a search bar, your account button, the shopping cart, and the menu structure in this case, summer trends and its subcategories, summer barbecue, cooking pleasure and Provence, mountaineer and adventure and the sale category. And below that, we have lots of beautiful content, which we will be looking into in one of the upcoming videos. And last but not least, down here at the bottom of each page, you find the footer and some shop pages, which you can individually link. Out of the box, this um, template is fully responsive. So if I now switch to a smaller screen, you see that everything adjusts with it nicely. So for example, here in the tablet view, you see that you have an off canvas category structure, so you can easily browse as a customer through your shop, also for mobile devices and also a shopping cart pops out. So there's also an off canvas shopping cart, which you can also activate, of course, for the desktop view and coming a little, coming even a little um, smaller. You see also now, for example, here, the search bar um, is adjusted for mobile devices. So this is how one classical storefront can look like with Shopware 6. But how does the administration actually look like? The administration can be accessed by your shop URL forward slash admin. And then you get to the login screen uh, where you type in your login and the respective password. Initially, um, you create this when you go through the installer installing Shopware 6 or your Shopware 6 installation package. And this is how the administration interface looks like. So let's have a closer look. On the right hand side, um, you always uh, get to the dashboard after um, logging in and you get the latest uh, information on Shopware in terms of uh, documentation, for example, migration assistant is triggered here where you can migrate your data from a Shopware, sh Shopware 5 shop, for example, but also from um, an old Magento shop if you want to migrate to Shopware. Then you have a bit of an overview of uh, how well you've been doing over the last couple of days in today's statistics. So here you have an overview of the orders and the turnover. And you have also statistics over the last uh, 30 days. In my case, over the last 30 days from April, April to May. And you see an order overview and a turnover overview to get a good idea of how well you've been doing and what was going on in your shop. On the left hand side, you find the um, menu structure with the different modules in the administration. So the dashboard we've already seen, then you have the catalogs management. This is where all the information around products, categories, but also reviews, properties and manufacturers or brands are stored. And I'll be coming back to this later in one of the videos. Then you have an order overview. Uh, so the order module where you see a listing of all of your um, orders, you see the different order and payment statuses, and you get a good idea of what's going on in terms of orders. Same holds true for the customers, which is um, which has kind of a different or kind of the same look. So you have an overview of all of the customer data uh, that uh, is stored in your shop. Then we come to the section content. This is quite inter interesting because in there you find our so-called shopping experiences. Shopping experiences is the out of the box uh, CMS of Shopware, which I'll be talking uh, about in one of the upcoming videos. 
media is stored under content. So all of your product images, um, PDF data, etc., that you use in your storefront uh, are stored here under media. Then you get uh, themes. So the standard storefront is already um, activated. And if you have further themes, for example, uh, from our marketplace, which you can find at store.chopper.com, those would also be uh, shown in an overview here. Then we have the section marketing and under marketing, we have promotions. There's also going to be a video on promotions. So please feel free to look this up too. And a list of your newsletter recipients. Last but not least, here to the, in the modules overview of the administration, you find settings, which then is again split in shop settings. So everything that is related to your shop. Then you have system related settings and you have an overview of um, your plugins and further configuration of those plugins. So with shops, you have everything in terms of, for example, tax um, configuration, shipping and payment configuration. You have uh, snippets management here, which can be used to individualize front end snippets, email templates, uh, salutation languages, countries, etc. can all be found here. In systems, you find everything around the system. So for example, if a new Shopware update is available, this could be found here. The connection to your Shopware account pin can be done here. Further plugins and an overview of installed plugins can be found here. Integrations, which are possible and much more, for example, also the user management and the permissions according to each user. Last but not least, we also have the plugins here for further yeah, configuration of those plugins. Down below the generic modules of the administration, we have our so-called sales channels. So sales channels is a concept of Shopware, which actually means all of the different um, yeah, different storefronts or different channels that you want uh, to set up can be managed here. This could be a classical storefront like you've just seen with the demo shop, which is uh, here by the way, but it could also be other channels to multi-channel platforms like eBay, Amazon, but it could also be a headless channel. So for example, an Alexa skill, so uh, voice commerce integration, or also integration to, for example, product comparison platforms. Down here, you can minimize um, the, uh, the uh, administration to your left or maximize it again. And last but not least, you find your own profile, which you can then um, uh, adjust. So in my case, username, first name, last name, you can set the language which you want to use. So in my case, I already installed uh, Dutch, English and German out of the box. By the way, Shopper always comes in English and German, but we also provide further for free language packages in, for example, Italian, in, for example, Czech, um, Sp Spanish. So many, many different European uh, languages are available. So please um, feel free to also install them and then work in the language with which you are most comfortable. In my case, we stick with English. And then not to forget what is also quite handy is the keyboard shortcuts. So here you find the list of all of the shortcuts. So how do the shortcuts work? You simply press the keys after each other on your keyboard. So there's no control or shift button in addition needed. So for example, if you wanted to add a product, you didn't need to go to um, the uh, catalog module and add a product and the products, but you could just type in from anywhere the keys A and P in your keyboard and the window pops open, but we'll look at it later on again. So please feel free to look through the shortcuts that um, are listed here so that you can be very quick and efficient and working with your Shopware administration. And one last thing which is really, really handy is um, the color guidance system, which you see also here to the left hand side in the different modules. So for example, everything around catalog management is marked with this yellow icon and everything with orders with this purple icon and so on and so forth. So you could, for example, work in two different modules at the same time by simply open, opening different tabs and through the little icons that are also uh, mirrored here in your tab, you always know where you work on what information. So for example, if I open the catalogs, uh, the products, for example, 
in a new tab. You see, aha, okay, cool. I have this icon here in the tab while on at the same time, I can also work on my orders and do some configurations here. So that's again, one hint of how you can work efficiently and uh, in time saving manner with the shopware uh, administration. In addition to that, those um, colors and those icons are also found in the search in the top hand search. So if we go back to our dashboard, you see it's empty for now and I could search for something like for example, example. And you see if I don't have any category um, uh, taken, it searches across all different modules as you can see here. But what you could also do is you can um, set a specific uh, category or a specific module where you want to uh, search, for example. In my case, let's take customers and search for example and then only results that are applicable for the category uh, customers pop up here okay so much for a little introduction to how the classical storefront and the classical um, administration look like i hope you enjoyed the video and you got a good overview of how to use uh, storefront and especially our administration in shopware 6. thanks for watching Thank you.